Hey guys, so it's Monday today and it's currently raining outside, which is gross. Although, to be fair, it hasn't rained in ages, so yeah. It's kind of annoying that it's raining because I've got to carry so much stuff in today. And so clearly I thought wearing a denim jacket would be the most appropriate jacket to wear. I'm probably going to change that now. <laughs> so today I'm wearing this denim jacket from Free People. And then underneath I've got this dark green chenille jumper on. This is from Tesco actually. Um, it's got really nice sleeves that sort of like um, billow out and then come in at the end. Um, but I got it in a size 14 so that it would be nice and oversized and warm. And then I've got my new look leather look jeans on. And then these boots are new from Zara. And I've still got the label on right now because I'm debating on whether we're keeping them or not. I've been sort of putting them on all weekend to see if they're comfy enough. I really like them. I think they were on like a special price over the weekend. Um, and they've got like some floral embossing on the side, which I really liked. Um, but yeah, I know they're gonna rub probably, which is what I'm debating about, <laughs> keeping them or not. Also, if anyone knows where to get leather look jeans that are long enough, please let me know. <laughs> I had a look on River Island, I think I might get some River Island ones, but these ones are just so short and they really annoy me. But also everywhere's doing like coated jeans, which aren't the same. They don't have any shine to them, which is what I want. But anyway. I'm actually off to London tomorrow, so um, I'll have two outfits from tomorrow probably. I'm not sure what time I'm going. I need to look the up. Morning guys, here's today's outfit. I have on the same Zara shoes, which were actually pretty comfy yesterday, so fingers crossed they're not gonna rub. <laughs> then my Zara jeans, literally got a whole Zara outfit on today <laughs> except the coat. Um, this sweatshirt is also from Zara. It's like this really super soft, pearly sweatshirt. Um, and then my H&M jacket. And that is my look for today. As you can tell, I've been working. <laughs> so there's sewing stuff everywhere. I'm off to London tonight for the It Cosmetics Christmas party. And I'm really excited. It's in the Ham Yard Hotel, which I love. So yeah, that's exciting. But now I'm going to a lecture and then I've got a seminar in the afternoon. Um, and other than that, any free time I will be sewing. <laughs> So I'm all ready to go out to London now. I have got on my Pull and Bear fluffy jacket. I've got a scarf on because it's freezing outside. Um, this hat is from Brixton. I'm going to take this bag, I think, so that I don't get bored on the train um, and I can put some design stuff in it and do some work. And then these trousers. This is their first time being worn out. I'm so excited about these. These are from Topshop. They're like a velvety, style flare leggings um, and then I've got on my Adidas Stan Smiths because my feet are kind of hurting from those boots earlier so yeah that's my outfit I like it it's kind of smart casual and then underneath let me show you underneath and then this is what I'm wearing underneath I get so cold so quickly but I'm kind of hoping it's not going to be in a really really hot room if it is I'll just take this long sleeve off um, I've actually got a thermal vest underneath this long sleeve as well so um, getting wrapped up and then this little cowl neckline top is from H&M this was so cheap um, I will try and link it down below because it's a great staple for the Christmas season and it's got little like spaghetti straps in black which just blend in and I think it looks fine with this long sleeve 
and black trouser combo so yeah i'm really excited uh, i haven't done like a blogger event in ages because i've just been so busy and um yeah it should be fun it's about midday and i have already been into uni dropped off my garments to have buttonholes done and then i may have snuck into primark on the way back <laughs> so i thought i'd show you guys what i picked up because i'm not doing much today i've just got um i might do some filming of like christmas outfits so that video may be up before this one for any of you wondering this jumper is from lee i actually saw it on asos the other day um so i will link it down below this is what happens when i go to primark on my own it's not good i'll take this off actually i'm too hot most of this stuff is christmas decorations so this is the first little thing I didn't really want to clog up my room with too much stuff, but I wanted some stuff. Um, I just thought this was really pretty. It's got little pearls on it, and it will go nicely on my little bedside table. Um, so yeah, this was £5. I got some fishnet tights. I've never tried the Primark fishnet tights, so um, it was two pairs for £3, which is such a good deal for fishnets, because I feel like they're always really expensive. got two packs of the cosy socks. I'm also finding that these are really good under like my big leather boots because often my leather boots rub a lot but if I double up socks then they're fine or if I just use thick socks then they're fine. Got some tinsel. I am obsessed with this colour and this turquoise one is so pretty. Oh and obviously it goes really well with the colours in this tree. So yeah these were like one pound for two metres um, of each of them. Um, so I don't know where I'm going to put these yet. I thought it would be quite funny to put them on my fake tree over there. But I don't know if that will look weird. <laughs> Another boring purchase of some tights. Now I'm not really one for wearing heels but when I saw these I just couldn't resist them. Um, and just look. <gasps> they've got fluffy bits on them. I couldn't find these in my size anywhere and then they were just randomly put aside. Um, in a different spot and then they were there so I just had to get them can't really walk very well in them to be honest but <laughs> that's not the point so then this really lovely grey and then like a sort of satiny finish I do need to punch some extra holes in the strap because they, these never fit my ankles I also got them in black but I'm going to take these ones back because they just don't look quite as nice as the other ones on so these are going back and they were £14 each, which for heels is such a bargain. And then the final thing, this is actually also going back because I just tried it on and I couldn't get it over my thighs. So that's nice. It's this pleather wet look legging type thing. Um, I bought it in a size 8 and they are literally age 8. <laughs> but yeah, I bought them in a size 8 and they just won't go over my thighs. So these are going straight back. They're only six pounds though. Um, I have always struggled with sizes of Primark jeans and leggings. They always don't fit me right. So it was worth a try, but I'm just gonna send them back. I might film decorating my room right now because I really want to. And it needs to be decorated for a video anyway. So I feel like it's not just procrastination from working, <laughs> although it kind of is. <laughs> those of you wondering what I'm wearing today just to lounge about and do work in I've got on this long sleeve stripe top from Urban Outfitters I got this last year so I'm not sure if they still have it and then I've got my Brandy Melville flared super duper soft joggers on um, and then some Primark slippers <laughs> and that's it really not sure I don't know if I like that or not <laughs> the tinsel just I don't think this one's going to go with it because it's, mm, maybe I'll put this on my bed, I think that will look nice along, along the top bit, I'm going to sort that later, but I love the little tree, it looks so cute. Oh, It's pretty chilly outside today, so I have really gone for it with the layers today, I've got a long sleeve top on underneath this little jumper and then this jumper was from Primark last year it's really warm actually and then on top of it I've got this really cute cardigan um, I covered the was wearing this the other day in her Instagram story and I was like I need that in my life 
Um, it was one of those instant purchase sort of things <laughs> and I just think it's so cute. I'll try and link the cardigan down below because it's really cute. It did take quite a while to get here though. Um, then my jeans are from ASOS and then my boots are Clarks. And then I'll just get my jacket on and show you what it looks like with that on. So then for my jacket today I am wearing my favourite one from Pull and Bear. I actually haven't worn this all week I don't think. It's amazing. <laughs> and then this big chunky scarf is from Zara. And that is my outfit for today. It's Friday and this is what I'm wearing today. I have got on the, I'm just <laughs> I'm too excited about this jumper. Basically I saw this jumper on Zara a while ago and um, I couldn't find it anywhere and I was literally considering buying it on eBay from someone and then suddenly it came back in stock and I was like, oh my god. So the jumper is from Zara. Um, the jeans are also from Zara actually um, and so are the boots. <laughs> but this hat is from Topshop um, and then I'm going to wear my All Saints jacket. Change of plan, I will not be wearing my All Saints jacket as it doesn't fit underneath my jumper. So instead I've just got on this big long one from ASOS. I really need to clean my mirror, I'm sorry about that. So there we go, that is the end of this week's What I Wore to Uni video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments below which one was your favourite outfit and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!